What's up, brothers? So today we're doing a beard trim. Now I know some of you guys, you like to sit down in this barbershop chair and let a professional do what he does best. But I know there's some of you guys out there, like me, who like to trim your beard yourself. I gotta be honest, over the last few years, while I've been learning how to trim my own beard, I've butchered it a lot. I've learned a lot of valuable lessons, and today what I wanna do is show you my beard trimming routine. Because now that I've got it kinda dialed in, I got the right shape, the right length, I do the exact same beard routine every single week. So today I'm gonna take you along and show you what I do. Okay, so first things first, before you ever trim your beard, what you need to do, put a little product in it, style it, and get it the way that you like it to lay. Some of you guys, if you straighten it, you need to straighten it. If you blow dry it, whatever you do, you need to get it to lay the way that you normally wanna wear it, so when you trim it, it'll be the length that you want. So the first thing I do, like I said, I put a little product in it, I comb it out, make sure that it's looking even, and then from there, I use just one guard. It's a 12, and it's super simple. I start from the side back here, and what I'm doing is I'm literally working on my, my fade right here. So I like to keep the sides nice and tight. Just start from behind my ear and work my way up. Now my sideburn is, is gonna be the same length all the way up to the top. But I start there and then I kind of fade this top line down as well. Just kind of giving it a nice fade. As it gets longer towards the bottom, it will just blend itself naturally really easily. So do that on, on one side, just make sure that it's nice and tight. If you got long hair like me, you kind of got to work around it. But I literally just, I do this once a week. Personally, I like to keep it nice and clean, nice and tight. So now I got the sides kind of trimmed to the length that I want them to be. That's my first step, is really kind of just tightening up the sideburns. Then from there, I'm gonna do the same thing, the same guard length on my mustache. Make sure that's nice and trimmed up. Cool, and that's all I use the guard for. At that point, at this point, I take the guard off and I freehand the rest of it. Start with my mustache. Now, what I do personally is I just run the, the blade right at the top of my lip. Now it's time to hit the sides. Now when you're, when you're working freehand, you wanna just make sure to take your time, take, take it slow. I mean, you're in no rush here. The only time, the times that I've butchered my beard the worst are was when I was in a hurry. So the biggest tip I can give you here is take your time, be slow with it. You can always take more off. It takes a long time to grow it back. Now I've already faded it with the guard like you guys saw. So here, what I'm really doing is just taking off the stragglers and kind of giving it a little bit more shape. Okay, so now I'm going to straighten out the bottom. There's a lot of different ways that you can trim the bottom and the underneath part of your beard. For me, the style that I like best is just to have a flat bottom. So basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of like creating a nice gradual line and then underneath, it's just gonna be flat straight across. So it kind of gives my face a good shape. Ultimately, the beard is really just kind of contouring to the shape of my jaw, which for myself, that's the style I prefer. So to start this one off, I'm just gonna, again, make sure that my beard's nice and combed and even. I'm gonna lean my head back and I'm just gonna start to round, or uh, to straighten the bottom of this out. Cause you get, you know, we get a lot of this undergrowth down here and it gets kind of straggly over time. I can't 
can't tell you guys how important it is to just get this line right. The, the way that you trim your under beard is ultimately going to be what gives the side its shape and its definition. So depending upon how you handle the under beard is really going to be the determining factor on the overall shape and profile that you have. So for me, again, you, when you, you set this line here with the guard, right, you make this nice and tight. I freehand it a little bit to get these stragglers kind of lined up. And then I go to the underbeard to just make this line straight across. Well, the reason why I do this once a week is because once you have the shape and the definition and the look that you want, if you do it once a week, it literally, you're barely taking off any hair. You're just maintaining the look. It's like if you've got a certain fade that you like on your head, you go to the barbershop every couple weeks and it's really quick and easy to just shape it up and get it the way that you want it. So if you like a shorter, tighter beard, uh, I recommend just getting the trimming routine down and then just doing it on a, a once a week schedule and it'll keep it looking super sharp. The only other thing you have to do is decide how you want your beard to look in the front. Do you want to square it off? Do you want it to come to a point? Personally, my chin is more rounded and I like to just take more of a gradual round approach, just really the way that it is right now. So all I'm going to do, because I just did this last week, is just trim a little bit off, take, a, you know, take it a little bit shorter and just round it off and clean it up a little bit more. But you guys, I would really recommend deciding and maybe trying the way that you want the front of it to look. The style that I'm going for, again, is just really clean and sharp on the side and rounded on the front. That contours my natural face shape. So one lesson I learned the hard way is, is if you're doing this yourself and if you're freehanding, you have to be really aware of the angle of the top of your blade, especially when you're coming down the side. Because if you're setting this line, but you're doing it like this, where you're going at a, at a sharper angle, you're going to butcher your beard a lot more often. I've made this mistake many times. So the one thing that I, I pay a lot of attention to is the angle of this blade, and I make sure that it is angled with my line as I'm going down. That way, if I do make a mistake, I do trim a little bit, I do shake, right? It's not gonna make a big deal. Maybe it goes a little bit shorter. Maybe it you know, trims it a little bit closer in one area than I might like, but it's not a big deal versus if you're going at a sharper angle here and you come down, you're gonna really wedge into your beard. And that's all there is to it. If you guys prefer a shorter beard style with more defined lines and shape, I recommend following a routine like this. I recommend trimming it once a week, maybe once every other week, so that you don't have a lot of time between trims. It makes your life easier. You've are, all you really need to do is get the lines set once. And once the lines are set, trim it once a week. You can redefine them super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. And you'll always have the beard that you want to have. If you guys have any questions, let us know. We're always here to support you at Live Bearded. Until next time, live bearded, brother. <laughs>